All right, everybody, here we are again. I have another beer that you get to watch me drink, and it's care of MM Beer. If you want one a shirt like this, you go there and buy it. He gave me this one for free. Today, I got a case of this for about, what, $15? Today, we have Genesee Brewing Company Springbok Special Edition. Now, I what? What does that mean, Springbok? Does that mean, is it like a word play on spring back or spring break? I don't know. Anyways, hey, here's a fun fact for you. I got, oh, it's 5.2% of alcohol product of the USA. Good old USA. Okay. Here's a fun fact for you. I haven't bought, to we haven't bought toilet paper in over a year. Yeah, you're probably like, what? Well, I, 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 I played a prank on my wife. It's on my other channel. I filled her car up with toilet paper, and here's what it looks like. So, there you go. We're still using that toilet paper. She gave a lot of it away, too, and we're still using it. It's been about a year later. So you have to, if I think, I'll put the link in the description below for you to watch that, but if, you, if I don't, now you're gonna have to find it. Um, Anyways, look at that color. That color looks very good. I like that color. It's like a dark, almost like a motor oil. Can I use that? Motor oil, is that a good color? Hmm. It smells like Bach. I guess Bach beers are a little darker, I guess. I, I don't know, like a brown, 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 brown ale? Brown? Hmm. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. That has good flavor. That's very good flavor. I bet you if you, I guarantee you, if you took this to a party, they'd be like, I ain't drinking that. Look at that can. That looks weird. Green color. I'm like, I ain't drinking that. Now, if you had this, and you had all the other American beers, like the, the staples, like Bush, Bush Light, Bud Light, Budweiser, Coors, I would drink this way before I would drink those. Definitely I would drink this first. And yeah, I mean, I can, I can get a little bit of hops in there. Almost like a caramel. You get the caramel flavor a little bit. A little bit of hops in there. I'm taking, if I would guess, which I'm not very good at. But first, watch this. When honeybees find a proper place for their nest, they perform something called a waggle dance. This is how they indicate to other bees that they want to nest there. Okay, now if I would guess what the hops IBUs are, I would say 18. 18. 18 or 20. Not that there's much of a difference. I'm thinking right around 18 to 22, somewhere right around in there. That's what I would guess. Anyway, it's a pretty good beer. I like this. I wonder why they got a goat. I wonder what happened. There has to be a story behind people making labels and everything like that, but I have no clue what the hell they are. But I do like this. It's a good beer. It's, it's a good everyday beer. You could drink this every day. There was another one there. Was it Genesee? Nope, it was a different, it was a lion's head. I, I bought a case of lion's head too. And, but they had lion's head double IPA. And uh, did, I, did I mention I got an MM beer? Bob wasn't there, Terry was there. And she's a sweetheart. And uh, we were sitting there talking to her and uh, everything. And she says, I'm just a chatterbox. I was like, no, you're not. It was, it was nice talking to her. It was really nice. Nice people there, man, I'm telling you. You go there, they got beers stacked to the ceiling, they got singles, they got, you know, six packs, 12 packs, kegs, they got they glasses and hats and shirts and all kinds of stuff. And you can even taste test, they'll still have a, keg, a couple of kegs of beer with taps on them, you'll taste test some of the stuff. Really good. This, would I give? What would I give this? I will give this. I'm gonna give this one a B. I'm gonna give this a B. This is this is pretty good. Not A status, but B. Maybe a B plus. 
No, I'll give it a B. But before I say goodbye, you have to put your eyeballs on this. During his performance in James Bond, Sean Connery always wore a wig. So there you are. Thanks for watching my beer review. I'm not very knowledgeable with this stuff. You know, I just think if I like it, I like it. If I don't, I don't. So anyways, that's that being said, I think uh, anything else I got to tell you? Anything else I got to tell you? Oh, I made up a new word. Plagiarism. There you go. Over. Cheers.